Muchachos e muchachas, it seems to be every few weeks there's a new scandal that's unearthed over there at CNN. Just a few months ago, we learned of a major expose in the indictment of a high-level producer that was connected to Chris Cuomo. And in that scandal, that producer was actually indicted on uh, child exploitation charges and a slew of others. There was another producer that was actually exposed in which, to this day, from my understanding, probably still works at CNN, but who knows? But you would think something like that would garnish a lot more attention. But instead, Jeff Zucker resigning earlier today has just induced a wildfire of response. And I do mean a wildfire of response. Stay right there. We're going to go through it. Friends, we live in a world that's slipping away into constant uncertainty and danger. Imagine if something unthinkable happens tomorrow within hours, global supply chains can break down and never start up again. We've learned that lesson the hard way. And that means the smart thing to do is to prepare for the worst, even if the peanut butter hasn't hit the fan yet. You should store emergency food that can get you through whatever happens next. And we highly recommend My Patriot Supply, America's largest emergency preparedness company. Act now and save $50 off their popular four-week emergency food kits, which contains an abundance of delicious food that provides over 2,000 calories a day. Every person in your family should have at least one of these. Your shipment will arrive quickly in unmarked boxes. Go to preparewithnatley.com and save $50 on each four-week supply food food kit you purchase. That's preparewithnatley.com to avoid being a victim and survive the coming uncertainty. Preparewithnatley.com. Well, okay, here we are. Jeff Zucker, he resigned earlier today, and this was actually unveiled by Chris Cuomo, who we would say, I mean, I guess Chris Cuomo doesn't work at CNN anymore, but I would still say that this is kind of infighting because they were part of the same troop for years and, you know, deployed the same sort of buffoonery. So I'm just going to call it infighting. So there seems to be some disagreements and infighting and Chris Cuomo being vengeful and not getting what he wanted monetary wise, went ahead and blew the whistle on this open secret affair that Jeff Zucker had with his staffer, Allison, uh, I believe her name is Golist. Let's take a look at some of these details. So this is actually coming from the Daily Mail. So the title reads, Chris Cuomo's revenge ousted host forced lying CNN boss Jeff Zucker's resignation by blowing the whistle on his open secret affair with Allison Golist a CNN staffer while fighting for his $18 million severance package. Oh, man, Chris Cuomo. I mean, these people are just so petty. Um, but y look, I have some criticisms alongside with this whistleblowing because, I mean, OK, these are, you know, this is this is not good that this is a an affair that took place when these two were married. But I also have my criticisms uh, on apart from that kind of in the prelude of my intro. So. In a statement on Wednesday, Zucker resigned that he was stepping down. Him and Golust claimed the romance started during the Coco plan apocalypse phase. Now other people are saying otherwise. Media sources are telling Daily Mail that it long predates the plan apocalypse and was an open secret in the CNN offices. So they lived in the same apartment building with their respective families. Oh, the scandal have worked together at NBC, then CNN for more than 20 years and had what some called an uncomfortably cozy rapport. They're both now divorced, and one source told Daily Mail that their splits were due in part of their affair. Politico cites that two unnamed sources who say Chris Cuomo's legal team brought the romance to the surface during the negotiations for the ousted host's severance pay. I mean, this is what you choose to oust? CNN for Chris Cuomo is what I want to know. And again, there's a lot more that I have questions about because he's not going off Scott Frey just because he's whistleblowing on this previous boss, CNN boss. So we'll get there. CNN has now received a letter from Chris, uh, or Daily Mail confirms that CNN had received a letter from Chris Cuomo's lawyers demanding that all communications between Zucker Golust and Andrew Cuomo be preserved. What does that mean? 
what does preserved mean? Meaning that they never hit the light of day, meaning that the public doesn't get to see what the heck was going on in their communications. I don't think so. Not yet. You don't get off scot-free like that. That's a big piece right there that I have a question about. What do you mean pre the preservation of your communication between your brother in which Chris Cuomo, that's how he got fired. It was uh, the fact that he was advising his brother, the governor of New York, on how to evade this whole row, this uh, sexual assault scandal. This was first posted in a tweet by Matthew Baloney. Source says that besides the emails and other communications that would reveal the long-term intimacy between Zucker and Golist, they would also reveal how Zucker pressured Andrew Cuomo to appear on CNN and how he pushed his personal agenda on Donald Trump and other conservatives with potent negative storylines. <laughs> Let's see this again. So maybe this does have some, some merit. We'll see. The source says, I'm just going to repeat this, that besides the emails and other communications, that would reveal the long-term intimacy between Zucker and Golist lust that they would also reveal how zucker pressured andrew cuomo to appear on cnn and how he pushed his personal agenda on donald trump and other conservatives in potent negative storylines so they're just infighting until the death i guess i guess that's what's going to happen and you know what i hope the con i hope it continues i i really do i hope that they have they're forced to admit other details within the cnn realm that are more nefarious chris was fired in december last year as after an internal investigation found that he helped his brother, Andrew, former governor of New York, navigate through sexual misconduct scandal. Continued on, uh, this is them all together, chummy chummy, or actually his previous wife. And this is uh, the go lust uh, uh, mistress and Jeff Zucker. I mean, it just makes you question, how did things get to other things? You understand? This is weird. He's still fighting for $18 million, the remainder of his contract, but Zucker has refused to pay out, citing the conflict of interest between Chris's relationship with his brother and his on-air <laughs> reporting for CNN. So that's what his, that's what his whole thing was. Like, nah, you don't get your $18 million severance pay, and I am not at all arguing on the part of Chris Cuomo because I'm going to get there. But he's saying, nah, there's a conflict of interest because you helped your brother and he's the governor of New York and you helped him navigate through this whole situation with his uh, assaults, his uh, sexual advances on his staffers. So according to political sources, Cuomo's team said it was hypocritical for Zucker to fire Chris for a conflict of interest when he has one of his own in his relationship with Golust. I mean, just completely snatching Jeff Zucker's wig right clean off his head. Didn't look like he had a wig to begin with, but a hypothetical wig, if you will. Golust, who worked with Andrew Cuomo's communications director, brief, director briefly also divorced. Though it's unclear, when she and her husband, Billy, who runs a trading platform, split, Billy has not commented. So get get these, these comments from the uh, CNN staff or sources. I'm, I'm going to assume that these people are going anonymous, but this is what they're saying. They're spilling the tea. They're saying... One source told DailyMail.com on Wednesday that the affair was an open secret for years. It wasn't just around the cocoa time. It wasn't just around the plan apocalypse time. It was going on for years. Jeff's affair with Allison has been going on forever, not since Coco. Everyone has known it, but still denied it. It was part of the reason for his divorce, but not the only reason. It was inevitable that it would come out. He should have opened up, uh, been up front sooner. Another said it was the worst kept secret inside the building. Jeff's office was right next to Allison's office at Hudson Yards before at the time Warner Center on Columbus Circle. The joke was oh, that they weren't only sharing a wall. No one believes that this only happened over the plan apocalypse. They have been close for years. The closest it ever came to being outed was in page six when they reported a heavy exchange at the Hollywood Reporter's 35 Most Powerful People in New York's Media Party. They had a very public fight at the party that didn't seem to have anything to do with work. Let's take a look at this argument. Because I was curious, of course, you guys know me. I just want to take a little peek inside of what this looked like. So this is from page six. This was reported back in 2017. So 
Uh, this Hollywood party, a media bigwigs were gobsmacked Thursday night when CNN chiefs Jeff Zucker and the cable network's veteran publicist Allison Golist were seen in a heated exchange in the middle of a party full of media power players. Oh, the emotions got really, really out to them. Uh, the attendees included Harvey Weinstein, Ar- Anna Wintour, and others. Uh, Zucker and Golust suddenly began speaking intensely and making anguished and hand gestures before Golust strode purposely away into the crowd. So this is like a, I don't know, it just seems like a, I don't know, a married couple type of fights, but they weren't married. That's the thing. Sources told Page Six that this kerfuffle wasn't a fight between the pair had to do with that had to do with business uh, spilled over from the office. It was something they were dealing with at CNN all day, said a source. It wasn't an argument. Golas joined CNN in 2013 after NBC. She joins Zucker. They work together for 15 years some someone said it looked like she was reprimanding her husband or something laughed one baffled rival executive of the exchange uh so then it, it just named some big names at that party so that's what they were talking about in this exchange so Zucker admits to lying about when the romance began during the investigation into whether or not chris cuomo firmly the network's most successful host helped his brother Governor Chris Cuomo, I'm sorry, Andrew Cuomo, excuse me, I acknowledge the relationship evolved in recent years. It w- I was required to disclose it when it began, but I didn't, and it was wrong. So he resigned, and Daily Mail has this habit of repeating their details over and over, making a longer article. So I'm not going to go through the rest because it gets pretty repetitive. But there are some other details that are coming out of this whole scuffle, this whole scandal. Female CNN staff. They are furious because Allison Golist still has her job after the affair. But this this just goes to show their morale over there at CNN. This is nothing that is surprising. It's not a necessarily it's not anything that is new to us because we all know what type of media and news that they produce. But let's take a look at what they're saying. Female employees at CNN, and by the way, this is from New York Post, at CNN are furious that the chief spokesperson, Allison Golas, is keeping her job after lying about her affair with the newly resigned Jeff Zucker for years, sources told the Post. Why is she allowed to keep her job, a CNN insider railed? CNN is supposed to be a transparent news network. (laughs) Hilarious. Uh, CNN is supposed to be a transparent news network. How does she get away with lying about their affair for so long? Oh, the irony. The irony, CNN staff. How do they get to get get away with all these lies for such a long time? You're talking about two people or are you talking about your entire network? Early Wednesday, Zucker went into a memo to colleagues announcing he'd be retiring after his relationship with Golust came to light during CNN's probe with Chris Cuomo. He called the relationship consensual and told staff that he'd wished he disclosed it sooner. Golust released a statement shortly after saying she and Zucker had been professional colleagues for over 20 years bop, 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 that it changed over the plan apocalypse one insider said it's a total lie they've been together for years and she's still lying about it today the statement she made about it recently our relationship changed during coco is a total lie now so you, i'm gonna just assume that these insiders i mean I, I could be wrong i could be wrong but i'm just gonna assume that they are not high level personalities within cnn because the CNN hosts are actually defending Jeff Zucker. I mean, d- does it surprise you once again? Does it surprise you? The morale of these people, they're defending Jeff Zucker. Illicit career ending affair with Allison Golas. Brian Stelter blames Chris Cuomo for outing him while Allison Camarada says he shouldn't resign. Yeah. These people, I tell you. So they're defending him. They lived in the same apartment building on Wednesday afternoon. Host Allison Camarada, however, defended the pair, saying that it was nothing wrong with it because they were both executives. Brian said, I mean, the amount, listen to that excuse. Allison Camarada, I'm going to show you this clip too, said, 
there's nothing wrong with it because they're both executives. Ryan Stelter, CNN's media correspondent, blamed it all on Chris Cuomo, who exposed the, bro- the romance through his attorneys while negotiating the exit package. And again, I do have my criticisms for that. We're going to continue. There are two consenting adults who are both executives. They can't have a private relationship. Feels wrong, he said, uh, said to Stelter, Victor Blackwell. I mean, like, again. This is this, these are the people who are deploying out the news and the rules and stipulations to you, the people, and they're trying to make it as if oh, this was not this is that their privacy, like there's nothing wrong, you know, they're cheating on their spouses and all these things. Listen to them. I just want to say something personal for a moment, if I may. Sure. That is, I mean, I I feel it deeply personally, but also I think I speak for all of us and our colleagues. This is an incredible loss. It's an incredible loss. Jeff is a remarkable person and an incredible leader. He has this uncanny ability to make, I think, every one of us feel special and valuable in our own way, even though he is managing an international news organization of thousands of people. I just Mm. know that he had this unique ability to make us feel special. And I don't think that that comes around all the time. And I think, again, it's an incredible loss. And I just think it's so regrettable how it happened. If, if what you're reporting mm. is true, these are two consenting adults who are both executives. That, that they can't have a private relationship um, feels wrong. Well, I think there's two, 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 two. I, I mean, I mean the audacity of these people. Do you hear that? They're two consenting adulterous uh, executives who just cheated on their spouse and their families and walked out and like home wrecked each other. I you, you I don't under like you go uh, speechless. I'm speechless. I can't even say it. I can't even. I can't. And then Brian Stelter, of course, I'm sure had his little his little comments. I felt it deeply personally, but I speak for all of us in our country's incredible loss. You just heard that. You just heard that. Uh, Stelter said that the entire thing was down to Cuomo and that he wanted to burn the network down after being fired in uh, November last year for helping his brother form former New York governor Andrew Cuomo navigate his own sex scandal. Chris Cuomo is not going out quietly. He's trying to burn the place down. So this is my comment. I'm going to do it uh, based on this cue. He's going to court claiming he had incriminating evidence against Zucker and Golust. Um, So, and it just repeats that they're trying to preserve the communications, which I don't agree with. No, I, and I'm not on the Cuomo side either, just because he revealed this. So this is where my, this is where my personal opinion comes into play. So with that last comment made that, oh, he's trying to burn the place down. This is what you choose to burn the place down. Chris Cuomo, when you had two senior producers that were recently outed on being, uh, you know, uh, liking the content and producing content on Pedal Fifi, there are uh, directly tied relationships between, you know, one of them that's already indicted who, you know, uh, uh, tried to persuade mothers into bringing their children to him. Uh, uh, to groom and to to have these these gross relationships with and then uh for the other ones uh, rick syllaby who still to this day we don't really concretely know what the heck is happening with him but that's the whole point you know this is what you choose to burn the place down over because the guy controls your your money that's what it comes down to it's not on the moral of, oh, let me expose everything that's going on, which I hope happens. I hope that it's more than just a relationship that exposed, which, by the way, isn't right. But I hope that there's more to this, like, you know, the fact that uh, uh, there are some current working members because it seems to be that there might have been a likeness in the type of thing that they were into, these producers, all of us, you know, and the fact that they're producers producers you understand i don't know that's my that's my whole opinion of it you know this is what he chooses to burn the place down on uh the fact that he's still trying to hide the communication between andrew cuomo and their communications internally uh shows that chris cuomo himself is still shady he's not doing anything valiant he's only doing it because of his love for his money and that's it 
So anyway, guys, that is my opinion on all of this. I gave you guys all, all the tea of what's going on in the CNN universe uh, so far today at this point of the day. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, yeah, I just the the skin, the big, the bigger elephant in the room is the fact that you guys have a possible ring going on at your network. But, you know, we'll sweep that under the rug and just deploy out more headlines over this affair. Anyway, thanks guys so much for your support. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.